Howdy, it's Uncle Paul, and television is Satan. <laughs> you cheated. I cheated. Oh, oh you put your finger on my That's why. Uh. Well, I was sitting in my bedroom. I was uh, streaming something live over YouTube, watching it, and, and I was getting hungry. I was really thinking about how I just wanted to go into the kitchen and and get some food and and uh and I obviously I just really did not need to uh and uh I've already eaten for the day and all that. So I was just really feeling the temptation, feeling hungry. And uh then I hear uh Hurley barking hear uh a lot. And so I'm like, well, I'm going to go check that out. And and this is this is what Maybe I found. Follow. Yeah, yeah, you know better than to buy that you'd fall for that every time. How's that taste? Ugh. So it was a good distraction, and it actually feels pretty comfortable out here. Uh, so we're we're gradually moving into some cooler weather here. It's getting that time of year. I, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. But it was enough a distraction. I'm not hungry anymore. No hunger pains. No panic. Okay. Well, it's the next morning. And uh, Hurley just noticed the toad in his uh, in his water. So, <laughs> uh, what you gonna do? You gonna leave it alone? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to try and experiment this upcoming week. It's something I've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks or so, and so I'm going to do it. Uh, what kind of got it in my mind to go ahead and, and pull the trigger on it is uh, I've been looking through this book I've had for a while called No More Dreaded Mondays by Dan Miller. But what I like to do with really any book just about is as I read it, I, I highlight and underline and, and different things. Uh, so things will stand out and I'll go back through occasionally through these books and I'll see those highlighted. I'll just read what I've highlighted. And so I read this just the other day. A quote uh, from this book if your current daily actions are not moving you towards your goals then you are probably moving away from your goals and you know I I understand that and, and I I agree with it and and so one of the things that I know for a long long time has has been uh, well at, at the very least uh, it's hindered me from accomplishing uh, many things but I have, I have uh, had a relationship with it uh, really all my life, but there's the relationship with this and, and food. They, they go together like hand in a glove. And uh, it's not as big of a problem for me now as far as food's concerned uh, as it used to be. Uh, but but it's it you know I still have this unhealthy relationship with it. What I'm talking about, of course, is the television, <laughs> the television. And you know, early on, you know, when I was in my late elementary school and on into middle school, I started gaining weight, becoming obese, and of course, it just you know morbidly obese, and y'all know the story. 
And but but really, the the relationship with the television that I've had has not helped because whenever I I was eating, I wanted to be watching television. Whenever I sat down and I was watching television, I wanted to be eating something, you know. So it's not nearly as bad the last few years as it has been, but it, it definitely was a major part of me uh, of me gaining so much weight. And, and and now there are other things in my life, uh, you know, that I'm I'm trying to accomplish certain goals, and you know, with work, with with uh, time to take to study for college classes. Uh, and also studying to be able to, you know, preach and, and, and teach Bible classes uh, at times. You know, time is, is more precious maybe to me than it has been uh, in a long time. And TV just gets in the way. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. You know, I do watch YouTube things uh, on my laptop and, and maybe a little bit of Netflix and stuff like that, uh, which I will continue to probably do undoubtedly. But... But the TV is the major chunk of my time when it comes to that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm going to unplug starting tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. This is uh, Saturday afternoon, early afternoon. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to unplug the television, and I'm going to try it for a week. And I mean, this I haven't really done this intentionally, just because I'm tired of not tired of television, but I mean, I I I really don't need the intrusion in my life. Just I'm, I'm going to commit to a week. I'm going to commit to one week and uh and see how that goes so if you uh you know i want to hear it from you i mean if you have a connection you know with uh you know food and and television if you've had that same connection and especially if it has contributed you think to your being obese or morbidly obese you know let me know and and it, maybe if if it's not that it's just that you know you didn't want the distraction in your life anymore uh, of, of television for whatever reason. Let me know, you know, what your experience has been. Using that, with that quote in mind, I'm thinking, yeah, that's, television's one of those things that definitely can get in the way of, of me doing what I want to do, need to do. Well, one of my nephews brought something to the back porch earlier, left the gate open. I don't know if Hurley is still here. He's usually pretty good about, Hurley! Good boy! Good boy! Yes! Oh, you are such a good boy. I'm going to have to give you something special. Good boy! Now it's time to go in and kick the rear of my nephew. Okay, well it's Saturday evening. I just stepped, stepped out the back door. And there's three and there's four. Oh my goodness. And I, I know that breeding for toads, they breed in water, so that's what, I guess that's what uh, Hurley's uh, water bowl is used for now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hurley, have you even looked in your water? Look at here. Look at there. That's going to freak you out, I bet. <laughs> it's like, what in the world? Good Sunday morning, everybody. Whew, well... Now that gate was left over for over an hour, so you know Hurley's always been real good since I adopted him uh, about not getting out of the gate. Uh, and sometimes if it's open a short period of time, yeah, you know, he'll still be there. Uh, so I, I was hoping that he was still going to be there. Thought he might be, but but over an hour that's that's a long time. So, so I was really, I was pleased that, uh, that he was, uh, good like that and, and, uh, was still back there. I had, I texted my nephew and, uh, cause he had left the house, you know, he was off doing something and I texted him. I said, uh, you want to come home and help me look for Hurley? And I sent him a picture of the open gate, the gate, you know, he left open. And so about 30 seconds later, he calls me, he said, Uncle Paul, is, is Hurley really missing? <laughs> I said, no, no, he's not, you know. So he apologized. He went, oh, he apologized. But uh, I just, I said, I just wanted to remind you, you know, that you need to close the gate. And they do a good job closing the gate most of the time, you know. So, okay, let's go get on the scale.
Okay, last week I weighed 377.6, this week 375.8. That gives me a 1.8 pound weight loss on the week. I'll definitely take that. Now next Sunday, uh, I'm going to be preaching again in Mason, Texas. So that's over a two hour drive. So I'm going to try to get my video out next week before I leave early Sunday morning. Uh, but you never know what might happen, and I won't be back till late, late in the evening. So, uh, so I, if if I have to, I'll try to get it out then. But if something happens, it may be till Monday before I get out. So just just fair warning. I'm gonna do my best to get it out next Sunday morning, real early. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.